Alright guys, welcome to episode 24 of my horror movie reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Coffin Rock. This was made in 2009, directed and written by Rupert Glasson and produced by David Lightfoot. And the cast, Robert Taylor, who plays Rob. People probably know Robert Taylor as the captive husband in Storm Warning, um, the Aussie um, outback type horror film. Um, Lisa Chapel as Jesse and Sam Parsonson as Evan. Um, this is an Aussie made psycho thriller horror stroke. There's like a mixture of thriller and horror. Um, and it starts off the couple Rob and Jesse and they can't have kids, they've been trying for ages to have kids and they can't have kids and um, Rob is like the unofficial leader of the town he's like the man that everyone looks up to and everyone thinks that he's got the perfect life um, in this small coastal town um, but nobody knows that he can't have kids and it's really getting to him so they end up chatting and they end up going to an IVF clinic and or something like that anyway and they go to this clinic and um, the receptionist is Evan and he's a young Irish guy and he um, sees Jesse and Rob and knows what they're going through and decides to start stalking Jesse um, played by Lisa Chapel he stalks her she doesn't notice him in the um, clinic and then he moves to their coastal town as a, like a drifter and he's ev everywhere she goes he seems to be there and he's chatting her up and she seems to take like a likeness to him she doesn't fancy him or nothing but she takes a likeness to him because he seems a very nice character to her and tries having a laugh with her and that and then one night when she's drunk she gets really drunk after an argument with Rob um, she gets drunk in the bar and then on the way home she bumps into Evan and she ends up having sex with him um, just crazy just crazy like a mistake and so she ends up getting pregnant so obviously um, Evan knows that Rob can't get her pregnant because he works at the clinic so he knows that it's his so he starts stalking her then and hassling her to leave her husband and then starts blackmailing her and telling her leave your husband or I'm gonna like I'm gonna start telling him everything and um, he turns up everywhere, he ends up becoming not friends but he talks his way into um, becoming an associate of Rob's and ends up working at his fishing tackle shop and he's like doing things behind Rob's back like making her scared thinking that she's gonna um, thinking that he's gonna snitch on her and Rob's gonna go mad and she ends up telling Rob that it's his baby and he's over the moon um, while this guy's still stalking her um, well a friend finds out and that puts her in serious danger and he, he bashes her around and kidnaps her and um, she's almost dead they find her later on in the film and he's, he lives in a trailer in the middle of like just just in the middle of a field and they find her locked up in a box type thing almost dead um, and then when Rob finds out he, go, he goes ballistic but he also wants to protect his wife and um, the drifter um, Evan he's still trying to run off with her thinking that she's gonna run off with him and um, he ends up kidnapping her and taking her hostage he also gets one of the um, Rob's, well not Rob's friend but one of Rob's associates um, who, find, who found out about this and told Rob he also kills him um, but before all this happens he's like carrying a baby kangaroo around with him as if it's a baby and he walks around his, his um, trailer with this as his baby and then when he has an argument on the phone with Jesse 
she tells him that she don't want to be with him he gets he, t he has a fit and gets the baby kangaroo and starts bashing its head in against the um, wall of the trailer and ends up killing that and in the end he ends up kidnapping Jesse and then there's a fight for survival Rob has to save his wife and yeah there's I, I won't go I won't go much else into it but yeah it's real it's slow paced but I think that helps build the tension you know this tension building all the way through the film um, and the characters are, are believable I really think that they did a great job and um, things like this do happen in the world so it were really realistic um, yeah and there's a few disturbing scenes in it um, it's not one of Australia's best horror films but it, it, it's, a, it's a decent watch it's not hard on the eyes um, yeah it's, it's a pretty good psycho thriller stroke horror um, it's not an all out and out horror it's not really gory um, it's more of a suspense film but yeah um, I would recommend it I won't go into it thinking that it's going to be out of this world it is from the producers from the producer of Wolf Creek but don't go into it thinking that it's going to be another Wolf Creek but it in but it's still really believable the cast do a great job um, everybody just did a good job on it um, so yeah I would recommend um, checking this out if you can rent it first then rent it that's what I did and then I went out and bought it um, so yeah I would recommend it and look out for me in episode 25